Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and today I'll be showing you how to create vertical text in GIMP. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.32 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. <laughs> Before I get into that, guys, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy, or you can get access to additional content by becoming a DMD Premium member, and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. All right, so let's dive right in here. I'll start off by creating a brand new composition by hitting Control N on the keyboard. And I'll go with 1920 by 1080 for the dimensions of my composition and click OK. So next what I'll do is hit the T key or come over here to the toolbox and grab the text tool. And the font I'll be using for this tutorial is called Bourbon Grotesque. It's a free font. I do have a tutorial on how to download and install free fonts for GIMP. I'll link that in the video. The font size I'll keep set to 425. The color of the font or the color of the text is going to be basically whatever your foreground swatch is set to. You can either change the color of your foreground swatch, which will change the text color here, or if I hit cancel, you could simply click on this box and also change the color. But again, I'll click cancel. I'll go with the default black and I'll come over here and I'm just going to click on my composition to create a text box. And now I can type my text, so I'll type GIMP. So now all you have to do is right click on here and you'll see a menu pop up and by default this will be set from left to right. So this is going to be horizontal text. You'll have four options down here for vertical text. So if you're writing in a language that writes from right to left, then you can go with either of these two options. Otherwise, if you're using something like the English language where you write left to right, then you can select either of these two options on the bottom. But these are gonna be our two styles of vertical text. So left to right mixed orientation, that's gonna have your text written vertically, but it's basically going to have it as if your text is just sort of rotated like that. Let me hold the Alt key on the keyboard, which grabs the Move tool while still inside the text tool. And then I can move the text so we can see it better. So there's your first option or you can right click on here and go vertical left to right upright orientation. So basically that's going to create vertical text, but it's going to keep all of your pieces of text, each letter of your text upright as opposed to being rotated. So that can create some cool effects. What I'll do is hit control A. That's going to select all the text inside of here. And I'm just going to use the arrows to decrease the amount of kerning, which is the amount of spacing between each letter. And you'll see that as I do that, it'll bring the letters closer together. And let me also come over here and change the size to 300. Hit the enter key. So there you'll see we can now better see our text. So once you have your vertical text, let's say you now want to center this up on your composition. What you can do is simply go to layer, crop to content, that's going to crop that weird shaped text box down so that it hugs the text now. That makes it easier to center. Then you can hit the Q key on your keyboard to grab the alignment tool here in the toolbox and click on your text. Come over here, make sure relative to is set to image. And then you can click align center of target and align middle of target. And now your text is centered up. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.